All right, guys, that's it. I have moved out of my St. Louis apartment, which I've had for pretty much three years straight, and I'm on the way to Miami. I'm gonna autopilot the entire way here in my Tesla. I literally downsized my entire life. I sold all my furniture. I sold everything that doesn't fit in this car, and I'll tell you right now, <laughs> this car is full to the brim. There's barely any space, but maybe that. So I'm basically starting completely fresh in Miami. I'm so excited for this move. I'm living with my buddies, Ian, Watson, Pranav, and Luke, and Sunny Isles. I'm so excited to get there. I've never even seen the place before, but the place looks sick. So be sure to stay to the end of the video to check it out. Okay, so this is the crazy story of my move out last night. This Guys, this is insane. Some of you know that I have this weird slider ability that I've talked about. You can look it up. It's called Street Light Interrupter. It's this phenomenon that happens in a certain amount of people. Long story short, I throw away everything I'm not gonna take. I get rid of everything, I sell whatever, so now it's down to just the stuff in my car, right? So last night around midnight, we load all the stuff into the elevator and I go back to get one more item. When I get that, I go, maybe I can just order this item. I pull out my Amazon and I go to order the item. 30 seconds later, my energy is at all time high. I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like my true self again. Uh, it's too windy, I'm gonna go inside. All of a sudden, my entire apartment complex loses all power. All the stuff that I own in my life that's in the elevator, the elevator's shut. I can't access it. We lose access to the water. We lose access to all power, heating, and cooling. I just want to share that insane story with you to start this trip. And guess what, guys? This morning, they still can't give an answer of what happened last night. Nobody knows what went on, and my water still wasn't working this morning. But what a crazy way to end my time in St. Louis on the very last night that just happens to happen. And in my three years of living there, I've never seen the power go out even once. So in total, this drive is gonna be like 22 hours. I'm supercharging right now. And like I said, I'm just gonna autopilot the whole way there. That's the cool thing about taking road trips into Tesla. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off this supercharging and get to it. made it to Kudawa, Kentucky. So of all the times I've moved, this is by far the most interesting time because this is a very huge transitional period for me. As you guys saw in my last video, I'm phasing away my focus from Ecom and more going into what I've been doing and that's trading stocks, crypto and all that. And that's why for those of you who don't know, if you wanna get my course for free, you can do that with the link below, simplifieddropshipping.com, giving it away for free. As I'm making this drive, I'm literally transitioning into the person that I wanna become and kind of leaving behind the person I have been. And so while it's been autopiloting, I've just been able to think about just so much when i get to miami the simplify podcast is coming back but coming back with a vengeance among many other things but yeah i'm just ready to get down to miami this is a long drive with these chargers so 10 more minutes and we are back on the road just got to kentucky and it's so funny like the more south i go the thicker that southern accent Kids. Missouri was like, I'll take a pack of Marlboro Lights. And Illinois was like, yeah, I'll take a pack of Marlboro Lights. Tennessee was like, yeah, I'll take a pack of Marlboro Lights. And then now that I'm in Kentucky, it's God damn it, I'll take one of them goddamn Marlboro Lights, God damn it. Oh my God, no way guys. So I just got to my hotel. Some weird shit happened before this, but this they just gave me this room key for 623 and I just opened the door and there's definitely someone living there. The TV's on, the bed's a mess and there's food out everywhere. What the fuck is going on? Okay, I'm in a different hotel room now, but anyway. Okay, so I feel like my life is full of coincidences because if you guys remember my I-8 road trip when I was moving to LA, literally when I went to Vegas, they gave me a key to the some other guy's room too. Literally exactly what happened here. We're about to check, looks like this is it right here. About to check it out. It's not working, key's not working. Okay, I think I just saw a light in my room. But that was crazy. There was no one in it, but there was food everywhere. I don't know what happened with that. So anyway, I made it to Atlanta and I need to charge my car. So my brother lives here. I parked it in this one parking garage. We went out to get food. And when we came back, as we're pulling in, the security guards locking the gate to the parking garage. I'm like, wait, my car's in there. And he was like pissed, so we let it open. And I drive out real quick. I make a right, but my brother makes a left. I soon realized that you can't get out making a right. All those gates are closed. There's no entrance to exit. So then I got to make a U-turn. By the time I made that U-turn and I get onto the street, the, the security guard's closing the last entrance to the main road from the parking garage. So I almost got stuck in this random parking garage 
away from my hotel. But then look at this, guys. I get to my hotel. They give me the key to like some messy ass room with food all over it. Oh my gosh. I wish I would have captured all that that just happened. That was super weird. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass out and then make the last leg of this trip down to Miami. I got like 10 hours left. The autopilot's been awesome. It is very simple to do a road trip when the car is driving itself. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna pass out now. So peace out. All right, be honest with me. Do I look like a guy who has gotten a lot of restful sleep? Hell no. I overslept. Oh, man. Overslept a bit. God. I haven't gotten more than like six hours of sleep in a while during, during this one. I have no idea how, how long this next leg of the drive is. So let's see. Okay. <coughs> All right. So it looks like it's a 10 and a half hour drive from here. Sorry, Fez. I will not be going to dinner with you. So here's the one thing I will say about autopiloting. Before a Tesla, I would always think that road trips are kind of like brain numbing, you know, because you're just driving and you're just like listening. You don't really think. Man, talk about brain numbing. This autopilot shit it's just like man man you're not even in control you don't even have to worry about driving so you're really just like looking forward the whole time oh man what i do know is it's been a very tiring couple of days and right when i get there i'm just gonna unload my shit and then the next day i'm gonna organize all my shit and then i'm gonna get to it but anyway here we go one and a half hours till the next supercharger we got some traffic coming up ahead ah uh... All right guys, I have officially made it in Florida. Crossing into this state right now officializes this transformation, this new life that I'm gonna be living, this new generation of who I am and who I wanna be. We still got about seven and a half hours to drive through this entire state, but we are in the land of the oranges now. Oh, well, that was a bit blurry. So seven more hours and I'm there. And you guys gotta see this place, it's gonna be insane. All right, I've made it to my first stop in Florida, Gainesville, Florida, where Danny Duncan met Roscoe. Kind of getting redundant at this point. Driving, stopping to charge, driving, stopping to charge. But I got one more supercharger left, and then it's full blown to Miami. So let's hit it. Okay guys, I didn't really film back there. I just stopped at the last supercharger and now we're on the way. I'm gonna be there in an hour and a half. This has been incredibly smooth, but incredibly long with all these charging stops and whatever, but cars is driving for me at this point. I could give a fuck. It's like I got my own personal driver in this bit. So, so close. Oh man, so I just got here. It's on this like private island. I don't know much about the place, but it looks pretty sick. The staff here is actually moving me in for me, which is amazing. I need to take a shower bad, unpack. So I'm just gonna do all that and I'll give you guys the tour in the morning. All right guys, now it's two weeks after I shot that video. You can tell by the beard I have not touched this since I left St. Louis. A lot's been going on. I've had to take care of a lot of stuff, but now finally what I can say is that's all over with. I'm really happy to be here. And then also the apartment is finally finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you that full tour right now. So the shower, in the bathroom of course that leads into this huge mirror but even bigger closet look at this i was just saying honestly i think the meaning of life is just having as many material objects as possible and this closet makes me realize that i need more material objects you can see around here i have not because it's so big i haven't been able to even fill in like 20 percent of it it's just massive and it just keeps going around like that and that's one of two closets like it's gonna be very hard to go to another apartment after this at all because this is like the top tier. Like this thing's so big. Obviously I got the crazy tub and the TV. I'm not gonna lie, every single night when I get home, I, I flip that fucker on and I just let it fill up with a fucking bubble bath. I take a shower, I get in the bath and I watch an episode right before I go to sleep and it makes me feel so good. And then, so here's the final room basically. I got the podcast table, the bed, the reading couch, and then my office studio everything right here and what's crazy is just look how big my balcony this is just the balcony for my room i'm gonna take you guys into the living room right after this but look at this who are we fooling out here if you think i'm playing around i am not and it just keeps going like all the way over here the whole balcony goes this way 
Yeah, so that's amazing. So now we're gonna go into the living room. I actually just measured it. It takes me 30 seconds to get from my room to the living room. It's a 30 second walk. That's how big this place is. Oh, and then I have a second closet right here. I just filled this with like my shoes and just a bunch of junk. See, I kept this just in case anybody needed to know what time it is. One o'clock, bitch. Even this is a bigger closet than I've, I'm ever used to. This is insane. It comes into boom. Not gonna lie, it's not bad coming in every single day to that. Like just so much space. So you got the living room right there, nice and big. I don't even know what you would call this space. Just like, we don't even know what to do with this space because there's so much space. And then right here, of course, you got the kitchen. Pretty wild overall. And then finally, the outside balcony. I mean, it's this, it's literally endless. Like, remember, my balcony looked just like this. So looking at it, we probably have across the whole apartment like a 200 to 250 degree view of Sunny Isles. Honestly, not just Sunny Isles, everything. I can see Fort, I can see all the way from Fort Lauderdale, even kind of Boca Raton, all the way down to Brickell, Miami. So, hey, look at that. It's wild. Yeah guys, so that's it. Comment below if you think I should keep the beard. Comment below anybody in Miami that you think I should have onto the podcast because the podcast is coming back, but like I explained in that other video, I really don't want to do the solos, I don't think, anymore. And if I do, I probably want someone with me to do it. Kind of like Tim Dillon style. So let me know about the beer. Let me know about the podcast. Let me know what you think about the apartment. Like this thing is four bedroom, five bath, I think 4,500 square feet. And I luckily got the master, which is awesome. Like, I can't tell you how nice it is to hit that tub, just hit this bath, and then fall asleep to this view every single day. It's really a blessing, so. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the delay in this video. Sometimes you just gotta take care of business first, so. Anyway, peace out.